بسم اللہ صلاۃ وسلم علیہ رسول اللہ السلام علیکم ایوری ون نو ویل بی لکنگ ایٹ دا لاسٹ پاسنگ ٹیکنکس دوز آر سی ایل آر ون اینڈ ایل ایل آر ون پاسنگ ٹیکنکس سو فرسٹ ویل بی لکنگ ایٹ دا سی ایل آر ون پاسنگ دا ٹیکنک اینڈ دین دیٹ ول بی ایکسٹینڈیڈ ٹو دا ایل ایل آر ون پاسنگ ٹیکنک سو ان سی ایل آر ون پاسنگ ٹیکنک سملرلی فرسٹ ویل بی گیون اے گرامر اینڈ دین وی نیڈ ٹو کنورٹ دیٹ گرامر انٹو این آگمنٹیڈ گرامر سو دس از دا آگمنٹیڈ فارم آف دا گرامر اینڈ ناؤ In CLR1, we will be generating the LR1 items. In SLR and those passing techniques, we were generating the LR0 items. But here, we will be generating the LR1 items. So, LR1 items is nothing but a combination of LR0 item and a lookahead symbol. Now, we don't need to worry about the lookahead symbol because initially, all the lookahead symbols for all the LR1 items will be the dollar symbol. So, as you can see, all the symbols are dollar, all the lookahead symbols are dollar. And the LR1 item is nothing but a combination of an LR0 item with a lookahead item. Look so initially all the items will have lookahead as dollar. So and now I have also written the short form for this production R1, R2 because we will be using these in the par parsing table. So that's why I have written the short form notations R1, R2, R3 and R4. And now coming to the DFA and also we need to calculate the first and follow because this might be useful in the further pro pro problem solving. Now coming to the DFA. Now the DFA also we need to consider the LR1 items not the LR0 items. So first we are writing the first LR1 item that is the S dash tends to dot S comma dollar. Now as you all know the dot is before a non-terminal so we need to expand this non-terminal. Now when we are expanding this non terminal s tends to dot c c and dollar now whenever we are expanding a non terminal we need to check whether the lookahead symbol is changing or not we can check that by whenever so, suppose we are expanding this non terminal then whatever comes after that after that non terminal this whole section we need to calculate the first of this whole thing and that will be the lookahead for the next for, for the expansion of this non terminal I'll explain that here because it, here it is more clear. Now the dot is before C. C as a C is again a non-terminal, so we need to expand this C using its items LR1 items. But when we are expanding this C, the lookahead is changing. How the lookahead is changing is now this is dot C. Now whatever is whatever is coming after C, we need to consider that whole thing. See, I have dotted this whole thing. So this whole thing is dotted here. and now in this dotted region we need to calculate the first as you can see here i am calculating first of c dollar so first of c c dollar is nothing but first of c because c is the first and for c is a non non terminal so we are calculating the first for c as we have already calculated the first of c is a comma d so that's why we are changing the lookahead now to a comma d so that is the procedure of whenever we are expanding a non terminal we need to check whether the lookahead is changing or not and that is uh, that we can calculate by checking whatever whatever is coming after the non terminal this whole thing we need to calculate the first of this whole thing and that will be the lookahead for the uh, corresponding production which we are expanding and similarly for this expansion also we need to have the same lookahead symbol see same lookahead symbol a, a slash d and then again the, it is similar to the slr1 passing wherein we check the inputs for each state this input for these states are s c a and d so we are taking those inputs we are shifting the dots and and see here we have a d input so this is going as c tends to d dot a slash d and we need to construct this whole dfa and and as you can see the a input whenever we are taking a input so i am expanding that here so c tends to a because i have already read the a symbol and again this dot is before a non terminal so i need to expand this non terminal so i am expanding this non terminal and everything that is after this c i need to calculate the first of this whole thing the first of a slash d is nothing but a slash d only so the lookahead will not change and again this is another expansion c tends to dot d a slash d and again here c is the input for this state 
so I am expanding it like this again here dot is before a non terminal so I am expanding using these productions and when I am expanding I am looking for the look ahead symbol so after C I have only dollar so first of dollar will be dollar only and now here C I have as input for this state is one of the input for this state is D and when I am taking the input as D I am going to this state C tends to D dot slash dollar I am not going to this state which is already there C tends to D dot but the look at, is a, look at here is different it is A slash D so I cannot give the input here D and come to this state because the input is different here and the sorry the look at is different here and the look at is different here so in CLR1 what you have to remember is for the states if there are different look at symbols you need to make another state for that you cannot take this input D and go to the same state because here the look at is different and here the look at is different so that is the one thing you need to remember for the CLR1 and now after constructing the DFA now we need to construct the passing table now in the passing table it is similar to the SLR1 passing table but in SLR1 passing table now considering this state C tends to D dot it is the fourth state so now let us look at the fourth state in that passing table so in the passing table fourth state we have reduced instructions because this is a complete item so we have to reduce this this uh, we have to reduce this and unlike in SLR1 parser in SLR1 parser we need to reduce this production in the follow of this non terminal you can check the video of the SLR1 in that uh, in that I have said that this reduce instruction will be reduced to follow of this C but in in CLR1 passing will not reduce it to the for in the follow of C will reduce this instruction into the look at symbols that is the look at symbols are A and D so in fourth state only in A and D columns I am reducing that instruction that is R4 as I have already said these are the shorthand notations of R4 so one thing you need another thing you need to remember is you need to reduce whenever you have a reduce is reduce item in a state then you need to reduce those items in the look at symbol not in the follow of the non terminal unlike this SLR1 parsing and the parsing of the input we have the input here ADD the parsing is also similar to the SLR1 parsing so first we will have the stack 0 input is ADD appended with, appended with a dollar symbol and then we look we are looking for the 0 state and A input so 0 state and A input is shift 3 so we are shifting this A and we are moving to state 3 and then again 3 on D 3 on D we have a shift 4 instruction so we are shifting this D and we are moving to state 4 then again 4 on D 4 on D has a reduce instruction so as I have already said this reduces of the form C tends to D so I have only one element on the right hand side so I need to pop two elements from the stack there is two elements I am popping and these two are reduced into the left hand side this is C so I am reducing it into C and then 3 on C 3 on C is going to the ninth state so that's why, that's why I am writing 9 here and again on 9, 9 on D 9 on D we have a reduce instruction that reduce instruction is of the form C tends to AC C tends to AC so I have two symbols here so I need to pop four elements so I am popping one two three and four so these four I am popping and I am converting them reducing them into a single left hand side of the expression that is C so this is reduced to C now and then again two on D two on D has a shift instruction S6 so I am shifting that D to 6 D6 and then 6 on dollar 6 on dollar has a reduce instruction that reduce is of the form C tends to D C tends to D so I have only one symbol here so I need to pop two elements and reduce them into the left hand side of the production that is C so C and then 2 on C 2 on C goes to state 8 so I am writing 8 here and then 8 on dollar has a reduce instruction 8 on dollar has a reduce instruction R2 that R2 is of the form C tends to CC S tends to CC sorry S tends to CC so I have again here two symbols 
so I am popping four elements one two three four and these four will be reduced to s which is the left hand side of the production and now from 0 on s I am going to state 1 so 1 on dollar 1 on dollar has an accept so this is means the passing is complete and the string is accepted so this is the CLR1 method for passing a given grammar now the LLR1 grammar is similar to the CLR1 but in LLR we combine the states from DFA of CLR1 now as you can see in the CLR1 see here I have C tends to D dot A slash D and here I have C tends to D dot dollar because the look ahead is different I am not combining these two states I am making a separate state for this production so that creates an overhead so this problem is overcome in LLR1 passing wherein we combine these states which have the LR0 item is same but only the look ahead is different see the look ahead here is dollar and the look ahead here is a slash d but the LR0 item that is same again in this state c tends to cc dot dollar and then s tends to sorry oh not this one sorry this one c tends to ac dot dollar and here I have c tends to ac dot a slash d so here I have the LR0 item is same but only the look ahead is different so this can be overcome in the LR, LLR1 passing by combining the states so the states which are combi which can be combined are 4, 6, 3, 5 and 7, 9 so this is the combination of 4, 6 I am combining the look aheads C, C tends to D dot sorry D dot that is C tends to D dot and the look aheads are combined A slash D slash dollar similarly here C tends to AC dot and dollar A D so the look aheads are combined into a single state so you don't need to so the states will be reduced in LLR and for the passing table also we need to reduce this instruction C tends to AC in all these three look ahead symbols so this is state 6 and this is the R3 instruction so I am reducing that in A D and dollar all the three look ahead symbols and the parsing for the input is also similar to the CLR1 parsing. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.